Hey, Sean here from SpeedQBView.com. So I have a video out on how to solve a 4x4 using a basic method, and I have that link in the description below. So let's talk about Yao method. Yao is probably one of the most used methods, especially for professional speed solvers. Now if you know how to solve a 4x4 with basic method, you pretty much already know Yao. So in basic method, you solve all six centers, all 12 edges, and then solve like a 3x3, hoping to not have any parity errors. In Yao method, you solve two of the centers, three of the edges, the last four centers, and the last eight edges, and then you solve like a three by three and hope to not get any parity errors. Now you might ask, why would you do it out of order? Because it just seems like that's an excessive amount of steps. And the reason is mainly for look ahead, and it makes some steps easier while other steps a little more difficult. So for example, let's go through this. So first thing is solving the centers, and I usually just do the white and yellow every time just because it's a little bit easier for me to see everything. Now I am solving behind a camera, so hopefully I can do this as fluently as possible. Okay, so now that we have those first two centers, we are going to make three of the edges, and I usually stick to the white edges just again because it's a little bit easier for right now. Now what's nice about this is because these other centers are not solved yet, edges are really easy because all you have to do is I've got the orange and white, I'm going to pair it up and move it down and I'm all set. I don't have to do anything else because I'm not worried about keeping the centers from getting messed up. So then I do the next set, blue and white, and I move that down. And then I do the final set, green and white. Now when I set up these edges, I set them up in how they would be normally after the cube is solved. So now I'm going to solve the centers. And what you're going to do is only move these three edges and the top layer. That way we don't turn or move this at all. Now this takes some time to do. And there are so many times when I first started that I would mess up these edges. But it gets easier with time. So to pair up that final orange center, I'm going to set it up like this, and as you saw, I only moved these three layers and the top. So then after orange, I have green, which I'm going to just set that up like this because that's going to make things a lot easier. And I have those two green centers there, so I'll turn that into place. And then I have red, and now when I have something like this, I usually slice turn, and slice. Now this is something that again may take a little bit of time, but the more you mess around with it, the easier they get. So now before I go any further, I'm going to set up the final edge, this white and red. And there's a few different ways you can do this. I'm just going to set it up like that, move it into place, and now the cross is done on the 4x4. After this, you solve the rest of the edges, but since this is already all set, you don't have to worry about finding edges on the bottom layer. It's a lot easier to see them all. Again, I'm behind a camera, so please excuse any uh, slowness that I might have in solving this. So now that the edges are all done, then you just solve it normally like a 3x3. Three three. And I have no OLL parity. Looks like I do have a PLL parity. And that's it. So it's exactly like basic method just with things moved around. Some things make it a little bit easier like the look ahead as well as pairing the first two edges, but the last four centers are a little more difficult. So thank you for watching. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit like and subscribe for more content like this in the future and as always stop by speedqbview.com for more news and reviews.